What you're viewing here fulfills a need I have to display high scoring competition images each month for my camera club. We need to include image titles and authors names in a PTE AV Studio presentation. And slide styles are the answer. Let's make one. Let's start by dragging down any image into the slide list. And I want to change the slide duration here to something like 18 to 20 seconds. We're going to need that time to create what you saw in the demonstration. Then we need to open this image up into the Objects and Animations screen. Let's start by going up to the zoom and reducing the size of the image to around about 85%. In the Properties tab, I'd like to add a border. I'm going to stay with white as the default, about 15 width. But what I'd also like to do is to add a background to my images. So if I click into the grey area at the bottom right corner, you'll see the selection of the images removed. Now I can go up to the top left, insert an image. There's the image I want, background dark. But of course it's dropped into the wrong position here. I need it below my image. So right click, choose order and back one. Now we need to turn our attention to the image. So let's select it and look at the keyframe that's going to start the animation. I'm going to right click the keyframe, clone it. I'm going to move that to about five seconds. It doesn't have to be pinpoint accurate for what we're doing here. So that's the position we're going to see the image when it drops onto the screen. If we select the first of the keyframes, now we can decide to move the image off to the left. So I can decide on a bit of rotation, a bit of zoom, some pan off to the left, some pan up to the right, you get the idea. Now because the image is starting the animation off screen, we need some speed in this first keyframe. And the speed options we're going to be using, which are most appropriate, animation speed slow down. But I'm going to add that for all three of the animations that I've put into that image. So from that keyframe to that keyframe, it's going to drop down onto the screen. I'd like to just vary that a little bit. Maybe I'll put my cursor in the pan. I'll bring it to the left, maybe a little bit down, and even just a tiny rotation. Not much, just a little. Now we can go back to the second keyframe, right click and clone. This keyframe needs to go somewhere around 15 seconds. So at this point, where do we want the image to be when it actually leaves the screen? I'm just going to let it drift a little bit to the right. So maybe I can just put my cursor back in the pan, bring that to the right a little, and maybe even just rotate the other way. You'll need to do a couple of experiments to get something which is appealing. But then of course we can right click, we can clone another keyframe, which ends this and here we're going to move the image off screen. So once again, I'll drop the size down. I'll bring the pan off to the right. I'll drop it down. I can start to investigate some animation with rotation there. You may need to do a little of experimentation to get something which is appealing. But at this keyframe, of course, we're starting the movement off screen. And we can see the start, so the modifier we're going to need here is Accelerate for all three. Not forgetting, of course, that between here and here, there is a small movement. So let's go to the keyframe that starts, and here we'll add a modifier of Smooth for all three. I usually add these even in times when I've not used them because quite often we go back and adjust them and it's nice to have the speed already there. So that's the bulk of our slide style made. Now I'm going to click to remove the selections and select some text. Straight away I'm going to go to the text box on the right and I'm going to insert 
a picture name template. Going to the animation tab, I need to drop this down to a small size, three appears to be appropriate. And in the pan Y, I'm gonna move this up right to the top. But of course, I don't want this on all of the time. So I need to create four keyframes. The first one, the text will be transparent. It'll fade on, stay there for a couple of seconds and fade off. Now there you can see the first keyframe. You'll notice the opacity is zero at the second keyframe. The text appears and that's a template so we don't have to type it in, it's automatic. It remains on screen to that point and then it leaves the screen by the 15 second mark and you can see the opacity is zero. Now we need to close the objects and animation screen and create the slide style. In the main screen, we need styles and themes. We need to go to styles, tools, create style. I'm gonna use a category BD styles. I'm just going to call it demo style for speed. And of course we can put other information if we wish, but there we have it complete. It can now be applied to other images, one or a hundred.